in the 50s, the mentality around roads was that they existed for one purpose, and that was to move as many cars as you could as fast as you could. And design reflected that, and whole cities were shaped based on that assumption. It turns out that we're better off if our decisions revolve not around the car, but around the human being. Now, sometimes that human being's in a car, and we gotta make sure that car can get where it needs to efficiently and safely. Sometimes that human being is on foot uh, or on a bicycle. And one thing that I don't think a lot of Americans are aware of is how far behind we are on bicycle and pedestrian safety. Uh, in other words, other developed countries are safer to walk or bike on uh, in than, than American streets typically are. The design choices we make about how fast cars move, whether there's bike lanes and sidewalks sharing the space with, with travel lanes, green space even, all of this is part of that picture. And it's an example of what it means to have a, a truly forward-looking approach on infrastructure. Look, sometimes we do need to add a road or widen one. Just as often, I think we need to subtract.